Good morning, day two of installing Paper Pathway. How's everyone doing? You're watching another daily adventure with Max Smith, the struggling YouTuber. What am I gonna do today? You're just gonna have to stick around and find out. Yeah, yeah, you're watching another daily adventure with me, Max Smith, the struggling YouTuber. What am I gonna do today? You have to stick around and find out. Max Smith, the struggling YouTuber. Stick around and find out what I'm gonna do today. Okay, as you can as you can see here, we've got stage one and two complete. We're headed to stage three, and hopefully four and five and six, and we'll have this finished today. Stage two, one was digging. Stage two was laying this pick, this fabric down, and stage three is now putting the gravel. Four will be the sand. Five. Will be, uh, no, wait. Gravel will be three. Five will be level in the gravel. Then six will be the sand. Seven will be laying the pavers down, making sure they're, they're level. After this, yeah. No, yeah. First, the pavers on the gravel, just make sure everything's level. Then the sand is it's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten steps left to go. So I'll bring up today as we keep on uh, accomplishing more steps. So that's what it looks like for right now. Okay, check y'all later. See, we're now starting to lay down the gravel here, and we'll finish up over there. So yeah, that's what I'm up to today on day two of installing paver path. Okay, so I hope you all enjoy. I'm gonna go grab a few other pieces of equipment so we can um, speed things up and not be taken all day. And As I'll you can be see here, we're laying down the gravel, and I'm raking it with this rake right here. As you can see, that's what I'm doing. And now I'm going to do a quick measurement just to see how high we're going up here. Once we're in. Oh, yeah. Okay, people, we are good uh, with our four inches of of uh, gravel just a little more to go up on that edge right there but as you can see we are laying down the gravel raking it up and all that jazz and so this is the next step hopefully we can get up to the second to last few steps I mean we can finish up um, step three today hopefully and maybe who knows maybe we'll get done just depending on the time and all that jazz. So that's what we're up to. As you see, we still got a little ways to go over there. And yeah, so this is day two. Maybe it'll be day three. Who knows? We'll just have to see. All right, catch y'all okay. later. All right, people. As you can see here, I got the tamper down. We're just adjusting now. But we just want to get this part firmly down in place. And now we're going to add a little more. But anyways, uh, this is what we've been doing, is tamping this out to level out. As you can see. Now I'm going to add just a little bit of water to moisten this. Not much, just a little bit. Just give it a good mixing. Add water, as you can see here. And then I'll tap it down a little more. It'll compact it even more. And just at the front because we'll be over at the end. And yeah, so there we go. Just a little moist right there. And there you have it, people. There you have it. Hope you enjoyed that. Okay. We have now tamped it out of the... Uh, gravel to the right height and uh, so that's that step is done now we're camping step and we're missing it as you can see 
and then we go to the sand step and tap it down one more time after that. Looking good. Almost pass? Yeah. Won't hurt it. Or it'd be good for it. And done. Okay. So they have it. Okay. I'm here. Who's our audience? Stage. People on YouTube? Yeah. For me. Okay, so now I am now spreading the uh, sand out. You know, all nice and good. And then now don't forget you want to get it way up to the top there too against the yeah. step. Spread it out too much, you won't have much to take up there. Oh, looking good though. Boy, that's a good rake at Jeffers. I'm, I need to find one like that. I love mine, but I need another one. Yeah. So Jeffrey has real bad allergies. I didn't know that. Yeah, so that's that's another reason why they travel a lot too. Well, I can relate to that. I had a lot of problems throughout my life, too. So, yeah. Before, I'm just going to be in Spanish, places where it wasn't as bad, like, uh, especially during the business, when they were doing a business, say it again, especially when they're full-time into the to the, ref, uh, to the reproduction furniture business. Uh-huh. He's like, travel like, to a place uh -huh. like North Carolina a lot, where it wasn't as bad. Or where they had the other other location? Uh huh. In Atlanta. Yeah. Where it wasn't as bad. So that's how you do, it, folks. Now, now may you look get, easy. You're, you're going to be able to get enough over on that side. Oh yeah. Because now it may look easy, everybody, but trust me, it's not as easy as it looks. <laughs> so if you're going to do this on your uh, at your own house. Make sure you have a two full days. And remember, call your, your, your state's one call before you dig because it's the law in every 50, in all 50 states. As you can see here, we had to add a little more gravel back in to level things out. So we have to lift it so just a bit above. And press this back down, re the sand, and we should be doing good, everybody. So, what you do is be safe, take all the proper precautions, wear gloves, wear your, wear your work gloves and everything. Use the proper tools, be sure to call your one call in your state and note below before you dig because you don't want to have some serious injuries or worse. But other than that, it is tough work, but in the end, you look back and go, you know what, it is worth it. They have people, you know, it's day two. Okay, let's go and pass with. All right. Well, I hope everyone's enjoying all the stuff I'm showing you, all the progress, and uh, peace out for now. Okay, as you can see here, we are running into a little snag. We need more sand because we had to add more gravel. Otherwise, we wouldn't have enough of a lip over. We might be good down here. We might just subtract a little bit. Sorry about the wind, everybody. But I'll talk loud enough so you can hear me. Anyways, this is where we're at. You can snap a few pictures. No. As you can see here, this is how we're doing. Just gotta get some pavers cleaned up, dried off, and then hopefully we'll be fishing this project today. That all depends if we can find some more sand. That's the key right now is the sand. So, maybe another day, may not, we'll see. I'll catch you all later. Okay, here we are. We're now laying down the stones. Now, if, you get, if you can get it right, 
then you can get it along the sides perfect too. You won't even have to move it again. It'll probably be almost perfectly level. As you can see here, we are really laying down the pavers. We have gotten one, two, three, four, five, six, four, eight, eight done already. So we still got a little ways to go. It's not perfect, but hey, you know what? If it was perfect, it would just be too boring. In my book. It's slight unevenness, but in the end, once we lock it, and it might shift just a little bit here and there, but that will all even itself out over time, slightly. And then the fabric is thin enough that water will go through it too. So yeah, I hope you saw me laying the, the stone down there. I'll have to double check. But that is pretty much it right there, folks. As you can see, we have, we got a lot further than we, not as far as we did last yesterday, but we are to the point where we might just have an hour's worth of work left. All right, hold off before you put any more down. Oh, I was going to put it on the sides. I'm not putting any more down here. Okay, as you can see here, we've got in it all down. And we're now putting some more stuff on. So, have a look-see. Look-see, look. And there we go. See here, we are just putting some gravel over here. And smoothing it out on both sides. Go like this, taking gravel, put it on this side. We're pretty much down to the last the final two steps. It's putting the stuff on, putting the cracks, wetting it at three steps. And then a good cleanup, and we have got this thing done. In almost two days, which they do, which most which most of our sources have said it would take about two days. And we pretty much did it in two days, folks. So, I hope you all are enjoying these videos. And, uh, yeah. Okay, okay, I'm going to show you what we've got done so far. Like I say, we've just got about, I mean, of actual cle that's cleanup. But for here, just sweeping and wetting this path right here, that will just literally take, and that will just take us an hour. Then after that, it's six hours to dry. So what meant by an hour, we'll about half an hour's worth of work, it's actually, actually just finishing the pro, just laying the, the body's head and putting it in and make sure all these crevices are cleaned out and most of it's actually down in these little cracks. That should take about an hour to hour and a half where the rest of it is just waiting and doing other stuff while it's drying and then cleaning it off and then putting tape around saying, do not walk on until it's removed. So basically, as you can see throughout the video, in today's video and yesterday's video, you'll see the significant difference, man, of how it's just gone from this right here to a dug up hole to this. So yeah, there we go, people. Just about there, just two, just two more steps on this, and then the matter of just cleaning stuff up, moving things around. I'm gonna have to move the hose way over, man, because that thing gets hot, that little thing. But yeah, so I hope you all enjoy my little project that I've been doing out here for you. Uh, yeah, I'll be editing today's video here soon and this will be up. We got one more day to go We literally seriously we are just at the last two steps and we're at the point now where it's just We just have to spray the stuff on and then wait. That's the step we're at. We're at the waiting step people And while we're waiting for it to dry we can do other things 
So I hope everyone's having a great day because I know I am. Butterfly in the sky. I can go twice as high. Sorry, I'm reminiscing back to uh, Read Ray a Rainbow. Well, it's just time to take it easy on this Labor Day weekend. And now time to edit and show you the first part of the video. And then this one, you'll see the second part of the progress. And I'll do this one where I'll do it again when we're doing the body agent, and then I'll show you the final product where we have it all nice and little decorative rock and looking very ultra most delicious and wonderful. So, this is Max Hussein. For now, peace out. A wonderful uh, weekend. Yep, it's getting dark outside as you can see. And um, here's to a um, click, wonderful Labor Day weekend. Bottles up and cheers. By the people, this is just ginger beer. Not a rock. Yeah, I'm working on the video from yesterday. Watch a little bit of monk. So, yeah. Like it's, uh, we're almost done with installing this pathway, and it is looking good. Well, that's all I got. Smack the same. Catch y'all a little bit later. Wrap. Well, wrapping up the day here. A fish edited video. We'll be saving it. Upload it real soon. What did today? <clears throat> well, I uh, almost finished the path, finished excavating. Then we uh, add the gravel, add a little more gravel, add the sand, got a little more sand because we're out of sand. So, yeah, that's what we're going to do, man. Today is almost finished the path, just got a little more work to do. Got a little more because this path will be done and there's some more yard work. Awesome, man. It's a great workout. Let I me mean, check out these guns, man. Oh, they were for the gun show. Anyways, this is Maximus saying, until next time, thanks for watching. And it's been another edition of the Struggling YouTuber. Thanks. <laughs> What's up? I'm here with Max at Central Park. If you haven't already, go check out his channel. But you probably already have because you're on it and you're watching this. I should have thought this through. Go subscribe! <laughs> Hey, you just got done watching another struggling YouTuber episode. Oh yeah, whoa, whoa. What did you think of my vlog today? My another crazy adventure. What did you think of it? Yeah, yeah. Whoa, whoa. What did you think? What did you think? Thanks for watching and sticking around. Stay tuned for tomorrow because you never know what I'm going to do next. I'm crazy like that. You just got done watching another. Episode of the struggling youtuber Max Smith here on the Max UT channel stick around cuz you never know what's gonna happen next Thanks for watching. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah So stay tuned to for tomorrow cuz you never know what's gonna come up next. Oh Yeah